This is just one piece of a multi-part course. If you're interested in more, check out tunefiles.com. Another update to Character Animator since I recorded this course is the Characterizer. The Characterizer allows you to quickly jump in and create a puppet of yourself and then use some presets to help spruce it up and make it more fun. So to access the Characterizer, we are on the Start panel in Character Animator. And you'll see right here in the center, we have Characterizer. Let's just go ahead and click on Open Characterizer to bring this up. And you can see I already was testing something here. So we just want to go ahead and create a new capture for this. Welcome to Characterizer. It's now going to give you some instructions. You just want to follow them. I'll ask you to make facial expressions and repeat specific words. Please say each word clearly and expressively. Keep your face centered in the camera preview image. Click Start Capture to begin. Okay, so you just heard the instructions, hopefully, if you're able to hear it through my headset. Basically, it's going to tell you what to do, and you're just going to follow along. Now, I did this a couple times, and I had some issues with it. I advise that you have a good light source just kind of hitting your face here. As even as possible, you can see it's a little darker on the side of my face. But... I found that if the room is darker, it has a harder time. So let's go ahead and just give this a shot and see how it works. So once you are ready to go, we can come down here and we're just going to click start capture and we're just going to listen to what she says and I'm going to repeat basically what she asks me to do. Look at the camera lens and make a neutral expression in three, two, one. Close your eyes in three, two, one. Open your eyes and smile in three, two, one. Frown in three, two, one. Make a surprised expression in three, two, one. Repeat after me. Adobe. Adobe. Photoshop. Photoshop. Lightroom. Lightroom. Woo-hoo! Okay, so you can see now I have finished the process. And again, it's similar to when you're setting up your phone names. It goes through and it figures out what's neutral, close, smile, frown, all of that good stuff that we need to create the proper phone names for dialogue. So once you have that, you can go ahead and click on continue. It's going to give you some more instructions. Your next step is to pick a style to apply to your capture. So now, again, if you can't hear it, it's basically saying, okay, we got it. Now you can go in and pick a style. So here we go. You can see the capture. And from here, you have to pick a style for the character. So you can see here we have no style, meaning we can't really do anything at the moment. The only thing we can really do is just go through and look at all the phonemes. And again... You can kind of see how this all works, and it's, again, pretty interesting. But we have some default styles here. You can come in here and just work with these presets. And you can see that, I don't know, it kind of does some pretty cool things. Lots and lots of different little presets there that you can work with. So we could come in here and just try something completely different. Whatever we want to do. Lots and lots of stuff here. So anyway... Let's just go ahead and pick one for right now, just to use it as sort of an experiment here. I'm trying to find one that I like. Let's go ahead and let's just go with that. We can do that one. So now, once you have that, you can come up here to your settings and adjust just how stylized all this is. And so if we were to bring this back, you can see that it adjusts the way the style looks on the character. So if we bring it up to 100%, it's more stylized or whatever the case is and the same goes for your facial features you can go in and adjust all that as well based on what the phoneme is doing you can come in here and create a stylized randomized look kind of like this so you can have that sketchy look and you can choose how many cycles of that you want to do so if i do five you can see we have more animation occurring it's less 
repeating. It's just going through five cycles versus two, allowing you to pinpoint how you want this to look. You can also adjust your resolution. Higher resolution will take up more memory, of course. Your quality. You can choose if you just want the head. Again, depending on what you want for your purposes here. You can also choose if you want to generate head turns. So you can pop that in. And you can just create your style very easily. Again, without much fuss, just by using your face. So once we're good, we can go ahead and just click on Generate Puppet. And this can take a few seconds, depending on what you've done here for all of your style properties and all that. But you can see here, just going through and rendering out every single phoneme and assembling the puppet for us, essentially. So that way we can go in and start animating. So we are almost done here. There we are. So now it's preparing and we are now back inside of Character Animator. And we can start working with this. If I were to enable my microphone, you can see that we have phonemes animating. And again, you have some discrepancies here with how the head is moving. But at that point, you could go through and adjust the exaggeration, as well as those other features we talked about when setting this up. So that way you can pinpoint it and get it exactly how you want it. And of course, you can come back here to rig. You can see how this was all set up. And it's also kind of a cool way too, just to kind of jump right in and see how Character Animator assembles everything. And so that's also something you can look at as well. And from here, you could just build this up and keep running with it. So there you go. That is a little bit about the characterizer inside of Character Animator. Again, if you're looking for a quick and easy way to make characters with real people, this is an awesome way to do it. To view the rest of this course or gain access to the source files, visit toonfiles.com.